Welcome to U.S. Metal TV Podcast. I'm Matt McCourt, and we have with us one of the best thrash singers ever in the world, Korea Black from the band Stone Cold Black. You've got a new album coming out, right? Yes, Matt. What's the oh, album? It's Super Loud. It's his album. album. Oh, it's called Super Loud? Yes, it's called Super Loud, and it came out uh, last week. I oh, think. great. Yeah. So, so it's been a while since I've seen you, man. Last time I saw you was 2009 in Germany. Yes, and, man, uh, I, I remember. That was fun. And 2008. I, I, I pick you up at the rental, at the car rental in the Reaper Barn in Hamburg. You yeah. remember? Oh, yeah, in the little car. I sat in the back. Yeah, yeah. and, and you, I brought you Susu Mamu and, and Brownie, the drummer. You're right. We played the St. Pauli Nightmares over St. Pauli Festival with Death Riders and uh, Fingernails and Forcer. Yeah. That was a, that was a great time. A great time. Was was a, we had a lot of fun at that time, man. Yes. Drink and drive 55. <laughs> <laughs> Satan says. <laughs> Drink and drive, fuck your wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I told you before you go to stage, hey, Matt, go to stage and leave a big black smoking hole. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best time of our life, man. Yeah, that was great. And thanks for letting us practice in your practice room. Yeah. And, oh, man. And meeting Brownie and Zuzu, two yeah. really great friends right off the bat. Yeah, of course, man. I'm, so, and, you know, and, we rehearsed for a half hour, an hour, and then played the gig. <laughs> yeah, two times. Yeah, it was great. It was great, man. We we, took, we, we are old White Dogs fans here from Lübeck with my friend Dirk, Dirk Hormann. I know. How is, how is Dirk? How is Dirk? Uh, uh, Dirk, uh, uh, I phoned him yesterday, and he says he has a lot to do, so he's sorry that he can't be here now. And uh, yes, but I shall salute you. <clears throat> and um, he said, we do it another time. Good. Uh, we, uh, me and our T-shirt lady helped him. Uh, she was an export person. He bought a motorcycle, Harley Panhead, I think a 57 yeah. from Oregon. I know. And she helped get it shipped to uh, the place to get it shipped to him. I remember. I remember the story, man. So, no. so any new members? How is uh oh your guitar player uh, starts with the A uh the Langer. Yeah, how's he doing? The Lang the Lang now, normally he would be here now, but he phoned me also a few hours ago. Oh man, I have uh pain in my ass, blah blah blah, you know. So uh, the guys get old and everybody has problems with the health. So <laughs> But so you you hear my voice is totally destroyed again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my I can't sing anymore. You know, yeah, I, yeah. I had a I had a stroke and uh, paralyzed my face half on here. That's why I talk funny. Why I talk like yeah. I got a mouthful of sausage. <laughs> but yeah, I still I'm to... still I'm still alive and doing it, man. That's a fact, man. That's that's important to be alive and spread the heavy metal around the world. The evil in me. <laughs> yeah, the evil in me is my favorite song. I told you. Break so me down. Yeah. And I love whip, this song. Whips and chains and baseball bats. I kind of like the pain, as a matter of fact. <laughs> the evil in me. The evil in me, yes. So are there sure. any any new members in the band? No, no. Uh, the, the point is that we have some fucking Corona times. And it started 2020. We recorded this CD 2019. We recorded and we had some guys who said, okay, um, uh, we make a deal and uh, you know, we make everything for you, but nothing happened all the time. And then my old friend, Anthony Drago, said, yeah. hey, man, I, I will do this for you. I do all, all, all this stuff. And uh, he's a great man. He's a, an old friend like you and Dirk and all the guys. 
and he uh, he do he did anything, and now it's out after four years. <laughs> so, and uh, I saw my my band members the last time three years ago. So, because I go away from Hamburg, I live now here in Lübeck, but I changed my flat. I in two months I go. 40 kilometers away in the middle of nowhere in a nice house with a great garden. I have two dogs. So, and um, I said to Anton, he, he asked me um, what will be happen when somebody asks for playing a tour or a gig or something like that. And then I said, okay, we can talk about this. We will see what happens. No? Yeah, I, yeah, Anthony, I finally met him in 2009. I had been talking to him for years before yes. that. And uh, he's a great guy. He was on here about um, three weeks ago. And uh, yeah. yeah. He's a maniac. Yeah. <laughs> he, lives, <laughs> he lives everywhere in the world. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> he lives in, in California. He lives in Italia. He lives in England. He lives in Germany. He's a uh, he's phenom phenomenal. Wherever there's beer, there's Anthony. Yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, do you know? Do you remember this beer here? You see it? No, I can't see the label. What's it it's called? A, it's it's a Einbecker Urbock from Hell. So <laughs> it's very it's very uh, strong. <laughs> uh, normally, you 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 need ten or fifteen beers to get drunk. But from this one, only seven or six. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, tell me about you, my friend. Um, you make new mu no, um, you make new mu uh, no music anymore. No, I did uh, the last show we did with uh, my Wild Dogs lineup that we had in at Headbangers Open Air in 2008. We played the last gig. In 2018, okay. and my throat 2018. was, yeah, yeah. a yeah. couple of years before Corona, and yeah. uh, my voice was kind of going. Then I had a motorhead band, and yeah. uh, we went to do a gig, and I just couldn't sing. I, I, could, yeah, go, I could maybe sing two songs, and then it would quit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so now I do this, and I can talk, but, uh, man, when I had a stroke, I couldn't, my right arm, my right leg didn't want to work, yeah. so I had to rehab myself, and I had blood pressure was so high. Yeah. When I walked into the, when I went into the ER, the emergency hospital, yeah. the doctors gathered around me. I said, wow, I'm popular. <laughs> they said, <laughs> you should be dead. They go, <laughs> You're not the only ones who say that, but no, it's just, no, it's a miracle you're alive. How did you get here? I said, my girlfriend dropped me off. I walked in. You walked in? Well, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Perfect, Matt. Well, Matt, while you told me this, um, I remember I have a new girlfriend. No? I um, changed my wife. <laughs> I have a new girlfriend, Deborah, from it Italy since four years. And... 2020, I was in Italy at the Garda Sea with her, and we go into the restaurant, and they come and look if you have fever. No? The, 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 the guy come, hey, I have to look if you have fever. And he took this little thing with, with a laser, and he looked at me and he said, hey, you are dead. I said, why? Uh, you have 30 degrees. <laughs> 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 I said, okay. <laughs> then now it's it was very funny. It was only for joking. Yeah. So, but but just uh, like we started the show here, nothing happened. Uh, and, and it's uh, the, the, his um, his little uh, laser messer for the for the for the temperature didn't work for me. Uh. You are the son of Satan. You have no yeah, pulse, awesome. no temperature. You, you don't and live. I'm born, born <laughs> evil. <laughs> yeah. I so, but I have a question. Do you have our CD? Not yet. Not yet. No. And so, uh, Anthony so, says he will send me one. Okay. So, otherwise, I send you one. So, but I can, um, I can send you MP3 over Facebook. 
if you want. Or yeah, or my email. You you can send that to me there. Yeah, or email. Yeah, yeah. I, I send you after the show. I send it. So okay, it's not a problem. Thank so, you. So you. So you can listen but a little bit. I still have the old Stone Cold Black album with the saw blade. Yeah, yeah. But this is very old. It's from 2008 or 2007. But I, I, think. I thought you were as good. You were like every killer thrash band in America, all in one band. And I saw the the. Uh, Watch the what the Tower Festival uh, that you yeah. put on with Dirk and uh, no, I don't think you did. Yeah, what's that called? Light Tower, Watch Tower, the Rock one that Tower had, Festival. the Rock Tower Festival. D yeah, uh, Dirk, yeah. Was, yeah, that had Death Riders and Business Rumors. Yeah, and um, Old Yano, an old friend of mine. Yeah, I he yeah, I hooked there. you. I, I hooked you up with that. Because I was mm -hmm. talking to him on uh, Facebook, yeah. on MySpace, and then we became yeah. friends on Facebook. And I told Dirk, oh, it was, it was MySpace back then. And I told Dirk, hey, I talked to Paul Diano, and he, he can't come to America, but he could go anywhere else to play a gig. Yeah. So I gave him the contact, and then he played the show. Dirk yeah. looks very yeah. happy in, in yeah. a picture yeah. with Paul. I, that's yeah. I don't really like uh, Bruce Dickinson's voice, but I love yeah, Iron Maiden's music. Me, for me, it's, uh, the first, the first two uh, LPs from Iron Maiden, the best was Paul Diano. Yeah. And I met him for the first time in 1991 in Hamburg in the Fabrik. He plays with Killers, with his band, and uh, Götz Kühnemann from the from the Rock Hard. Yeah, I know him. My, he, he comes to me and said, "Hey, Kacho is my nickname." He said, hey, Kacho, do we have some drugs for Paul? I said, yeah, no problem. <laughs> so I met him for the first time. And then we go to the Raper Barn and make parties all night long. And that, that's how our friendship started at that time. So, and um, we played together in the Rock Tower. We played together in, in the bath of my brother in the songs. And uh, we have contact over all the years over uh, Facebook, MySpace, etc. He's a very nice guy. <clears throat> I love him. And um, he told me that when I started, uh, I was not heavy metal. I was a punk, he said to me. So I me, like punk. Me too. He, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's uh, very interesting because for me it's the same. When I heard 1977, I think, uh, the Sex Pistols, never mind the Bollocks. I was a big fan and I thought this is a heavy metal band. I don't know what punk is that. You too, no? Oh, I, so. I, I got totally got into the, the Sex Pistols and the Ramones, nine nine nine. Yeah, yeah, and all these. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Very my friend, fast. My yeah. friend was uh, the guitar player for Poison Idea. Yeah, I taught him how to play, and yeah. we we uh, he collected records. I didn't, but I'd go get. <laughs> all the tapes from him. I also w was into the, he turned me on to Motorhead and the Mentors at the same time. Yeah. I ended yes. up doing, I did seven records with the Church of El Duce with the Mentors guys. Yeah. Yeah, so we have the same story, man. So uh, when I was 10 years old, 1972, my father uh, gives me as a present uh, an LP player and he gives me 20 bucks and said, so my son, buy a, <clears throat> buy a record. And I go to the, we had a, I come from a little village and we had a little store and I go there, there were only 120 records. And I have a look and I saw four guys with long hair. It was Black Sabbath. So, and at that time, my, me and my brother, my father, every four weeks he cuts our hair very short. And I saw this, and I said, hey, this, this, this is not a girl, this is a, these are men. And I bought it and put it on my record player at home, and I'd never heard something like that before. That was Black Sabbath at that time, and I thought, wow, oh, this is great, I want to listen only to this. And my father came back late from work at home and asked me, hey, my son, what have you bought? I showed him this, and he said, this fucking dirty, uh, ugly, Man, blah blah blah. He was not afraid. Uh, he was not um, not happy that, that I that I bought this record. And at that time, I only bought records like this. So it started <laughs> all the story. Yeah. So he didn't like wrong hair. Yeah. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. So then, so when when the time was coming that he cut our hairs, I hide myself away in the wood. So and he's searching for me. I came back late, and I uh, he hits me. He said, "Hey, you bad boy, blah blah." And after three months, my mother said to him, "Daddy, let him, let him." So and then I start to get long hair. So this is the story. Look, look at me. I've got long hair now. Yeah, I know, I know. The last time I saw you, you have not, not long hair. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, it looks good, man. <laughs> oh, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm a luxurious model. It's, it happened during yeah, Corona. Yeah. I decided I so. I'm not going to cut my hair until Rona is over. Yeah. And, and I said, fuck it, I'm not going to cut my hair ever. It'll grow down... Where it does grow, it doesn't grow in the middle of my head. <laughs> yeah, it's still so, bald. <laughs> and sometimes um, some people ask me, hey, "Why do you, uh, why don't you cut your hair?" I said, "My hair cut is dead since ten years." <laughs> 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 Cheers, my friend. Cheers. Mm. If um, I want to show you. I have here two friends of mine, and one is, uh, his name is Hopper, and okay. he's a sound engineer from Saxon. Oh, he was uh, on tour now here in, in, uh, in Europe with Saxon, Julius Priest, Saxon, and Uriah Heap. And it, I'm an idiot with these things, with computer and so And I phoned him, he has some days off now, and I phoned him and said, hey, Hopper, can you help me? I have an interview with this man, but I don't know how it works. And he said, no problem, he's coming. And he's, okay. He did everything so that we can talk now. Cool. Yeah, I cool. Lo I, I love Saxon. Dallas, 1 yeah. p.m. Dallas, 1 p.m., yeah. Strangers in the night. <laughs> Denim and leather brings us all together. I interviewed yes. I interviewed Biff back in 1982 when they were on tour with Iron Maiden. Yes, and I also interviewed Fastway before I had to go to that. And you know, I'm the world's biggest Motorhead fan. I love Lemmy. Yeah. yeah, and getting to interview him and the drummer for Humble Pie was just. They were so awesome. They were the nicest guys ever, and they kept bringing yeah. Heineken beer. And plates of sandwiches. So by the time we left there, I was pretty drunk. So we went to yeah. Saxon to interview Biff, and he had a big tea thing. And um, he wasn't impressed with us, our drunkenness. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, by the way, uh, my, f my first band was Asmodis before we started Stone Cold Black. And, uh, they started in the, in the middle of the 80s. And uh, when I when I have I live in Lübeck and go to Hamburg 1990, because in in Lübeck I had to, to so many trouble with the police. They come every month to visit me in <laughs> the early nice. in the morning, broke my door <laughs> and look for uh, drugs and weapons and something like that. But they never found anything. But after uh, seven months, I said, okay, I quit and I go to Hamburg. And then I meet the guys from Asmodis and they ask me, hey. We are searching for a singer and to come to our practice room and maybe you could be our new singer. And I go there and I never forget this. So I, I go there and this was a room, it was very dark and the, the uh, four guys are there. I, I came in and said, okay, play something, I will listen. And I take a seat here and when I take the seat, they have a, a little bit of marijuana here. And I, I put it with my ass away and say, oh, shit, hey, what's the last marijuana? And they said, no problem. And put in my jacket and have a 100 gram piece, a big one, that I have <laughs> enough. And they say, okay, you are in the band. I never seen before. <laughs> <laughs> you, you told me when you first moved to Hamburg, you had problems yeah. with somebody there. Was it the police or? my whole life, but. My whole life, my whole life, um, I was in prison for six years and five months. So, uh, in, the, in the past, so this is the story um, with uh, Asmus. Um, I, I began to sing there, then we make a demo, then we make a record in 1992. In 1992, we got 
critics in Europe, uh, for example, in Rock Hard was the new Black Sabbath, got eight points, we got nine. So it was very, very uh, gross up. And we have a lot of talking to uh, record labels. But uh, in 1993, the police catch me and I go in prison. So it was stopped. Uh -huh. when, I, when I got out, uh, we started to we, uh, with Stone Cold Black. So and, uh, it was 1996. And 2000, the police catch me again. I, I go in prison, uh, came out 2004. So, so every time when we, when it could be a little bit successful, I, I idiot go in prison, you know? <laughs> it was my fault. So, <laughs> but now I'm, 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 uh, I, I'm uh, a brave boy. So, <laughs> and I did nothing. So I have my wife, I have my dogs here, and I have my job. And uh, it was enough, you know, when, when we are young. Huh? Well, That's hey, Paul, story. Paul Deano, he got in trouble, too, here in America yeah. with machine yeah, guns machine guns yeah. and cocaine. <laughs> they, they said, yeah. you, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here <laughs> and you can't come back. <laughs> I haven't heard from I haven't heard from Paul for a, a while. I used to talk to him. Last time I saw him. It was around the Christmas yeah, he had, time, and he had, yeah, he had problems. Yes, yeah, he, was, he had problems. You know, he had problems with his leg. Yeah, he was in a wheelchair. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's yeah he, funny. He's, that's, he's a nice guy. Yeah, absolutely. I love him. I love Paul. I love Paul. He's so, a great guy. So the other people in Lubeck, let's see, there's Jesco Bresham. Jesco yeah. Bresham? Yeah. I know him. Jesco. Jesco is a guy, Jesco, no? A drummer. Yes, and uh, yeah, I know, and, but I ne I've never seen it here. Or so Martina, Martina, Marti like? yeah, but yesterday I was with Martina and Kubi. I was in a restaurant. And wait, Bob? wait a moment, I show I show you something. Wait a moment. Her husband in a Greek restaurant. I was with. I, I shall salute you. I, but wait a moment. So I show you a picture from yesterday. So wait a moment. That was great when we did the boat tour in Hamburg in 2009 with all the people on the festival. And then we went to the Italian restaurant and had pizza. Yeah, it was a boat. Yes. We drove for the boat to the harbor. And right. And the right. boat started and after one hour they said, oh, we have no beer. We have to go back. <laughs> <Remember>? <laughs> yeah, that was a great, nah, I love that trip. That was fun. Oh. I'm searching and for the weed. The pizza was amazing too. The heavy metal invasion. The heavy metal invasion, yeah, it was great, yeah. man. On the the ah, first. Ah, yeah. oh, shit! I have to show you something from yesterday. The first night we played the the Nightmare of Saint Pauli. Um, yeah. Death Riders, Neil Turbin, his band came and we ate, we drank all their beer. Yeah. <laughs> and they, they got, he got real mad and, and trashed the uh, dressing room. Yeah. 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 But uh, Neil Turbin is a special thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Without words. Without a words. A special case. <laughs> he's, he's too tall. Yeah, yeah. Matt, so, Matt, I'll show you something here. Okay. You can see this? I think it's maybe. You can see this? It's yeah. Martina. Raise it up. We, we were yesterday, we were in a restaurant. We sent greetings to my wife. She's in Italy now. Uh, she comes back next week. And so Martina, is, um, I know her over 40 years. We go to school together. Yeah, and uh, and there was a girl I talked to before. She had blonde hair. She's from yeah. Lubeck, and yes, I can't remember her name, but uh, I think it started with an A. And she was a soccer fan. El Nuf, some <laughs> some soccer team, but her and Martina were good friends. Yeah, and. Uh, I liked her, but she, I think she yeah. hooked up and moved out, moved to another city or something. Yeah, perfect. I met, I met, wait a I met so many wait great people. Yes. So I have to go uh, make pee, and my friend Hopper will salute you. Okay. The guy from Texas. 
Oh, great. Hello, man. Nice to meet you. Hello, I'm Hopper. Boss. Hi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> how are you doing? Pretty good. How are you? How are you? So, Marvelous. So you, Marvelously well. You've been on tour with Saxon? I was, actually. Yeah, I just did uh, UK leg. And uh, the first six shows and, and the rehearsals. And when we, or, or when they came back to, to Europe, uh, they swapped the, uh, yeah, my position. Do you, do you know the guys in Raven? John What? Gallagher? Um, I met them when they played the, uh, the Rock Tower Festival. But that's all. I, I don't know them. Oh, he's Personally. he's been a friend of mine. We I in the, I was in a band called Wild Dogs in the eighties, and yeah, uh, I think you played the uh, the Rock Tour as well, didn't you? The Rock Tour Festival, I think two thousand nine or two thousand eight. No, the Saint no. Nightmare Nightmare over St. Pauli in two thousand nine, and Headbangers Open Air in two thousand eight. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, that was fun. Boy, I I miss I like I love Hamburg. That was a great time. I love Schweinsky. Uh, Schweinsky Schnitzel. Schweinsky. Yeah. Schweinsky. Yeah, you just get Schnitzel there. Schnitzel and yeah, all yeah. kinds of Schnitzel you can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Steffi Kroger from Headbangers yeah. Open Air took us there. That was yeah. My, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> <laughs> so so it's Do you live in yeah, Lubbock? Sorry. No, I'm. I'm actually. I live on the other side of, uh, on the other coast, not as a Baltic Sea. I live closer to England, uh, more west. But I'm I, um, originally. I'm. I'm from Lubbock. That's why I know all the guys here. Dirk, Dirk Harmon. Dirk. Yeah. He was uh, the, the uh, first, him and Shorty are the first two guys. Shorty, of course, yeah. We, we met when we got to Hamburg, and it was, they were great. Yeah, absolutely. Great guys, yeah. Really metal chance. So, um, career aspect. Um, yeah. Uh, Satan, yeah. Has <laughs> nice Satan has speed. Nice to meet you. Satan has speed, yeah. Nice to meet you. Thank you for coming nice on. Nice to meet you. This was awesome. This is the U.S. Metal TV podcast. My website is usmetal.com. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So we change Thank now. Thank you. <laughs> I have a new beer. <laughs> so, the bottles here are so uh, little. So, uh, it goes very fast. So you're, you're on empty. Now you're going to fill up your tank to pee again. Yeah. Satan says... Satan says, drink and drive, fuck your wife. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you can't tell it. <laughs> you told us, you told me when I got in your car, oh, don't worry. It's it's legal. You both, you and Dirk Burt said you can do anything you want. You're in Germany now. <laughs> <laughs> it's legal. You can drive as fast as, as you want. So, I tell you, uh, you know the band The Rods? Yes. The Sky Canadian and yes. Art Feinstein. Yes. So they are good friends from us. And Dirk, me and Dirk, we go on tour with them. <laughs> and we <laughs> pick them up in Amsterdam with two cars. My, my, I have a big Mercedes, 500 SE. And Dirk has a Range Rover, a big one. And then we go from Amsterdam to Germany to play a festival. And when we cross the border in Holland, you only can drive 120 kilometers an hour. So that's the highest, no? And in Germany, you can drive as fast as you want. And so I had in my car on the, um, on the left side, on the right side, where uh, Carl Kennedy, and in the back I had uh, Rock Feinstein. And then I full power uh, on, the, on, the, on the highway, I get full power, oh, and uh, 200 uh, kilometers, and uh, Rock Feinstein, oh, please stop, stop, stop. <laughs> so it was, it was a fate. So then, then, okay, okay, then I slow down, I go to 120. But uh, in, in Germany, our highways, we, you have uh, three, three, uh, three, no? Mm -hmm. And the other cars, 
was 200, 250, 280. Say, we we they go so away then. And uh, Charles says, oh, he, he's looking. I've never been faster than 70 miles. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the Rods, they had an album at the same time on the same label as Wild Dogs. Yeah. That was called, their yeah. album was called Wild Dogs. Yeah. Yeah. I know, I remember. <laughs> it must so, have been confusing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah but not, not, we, we know who is the Rods and who is Wild Dogs, you know? Of course, no. And the so, Rods, because we are fans at that time. The Rods have a new album out. That's yeah, really, I, I, really I saw. Good. I saw it. I keep I, I have singing. To say, yeah, I, I keep singing. <laughs> you keep singing. I keep seeing Carl put up a yeah. post about the album doing really well. Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, that they're still going after all this time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the last three years I, I wasn't on Facebook, so I, I had no time. I changed from Hamburg to Lübeck here in the house. I had a lot of dogs. We got seven pets and bye bye. My new girlfriend from Italy, Deborah, and I had a lot of work and I had no time. So, so we quit the band and I had no time. I never was on Facebook uh, since three years. So now I'm for the first time at like since 10 days on Facebook again. Huh? You didn't so, so miss I miss, I miss a lot of things, yes, yeah, yes. So, so your girlfriend is named Deborah? Yeah, her name is Deborah. Yeah. Uh, I, have one, I have one of those too. <laughs> yeah. She was, she was born in, in Germany, actually. Oh, okay. And uh, we'll, we'll check. Würzburg. No, we'll check. W-I-L-C-E. Würzburg. No, I, her, her, her dad was in the army in Germany. Uh, okay. And so we, she was born in a military hospital in, I think it's Wilczek. Wilczek? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't either. But maybe, maybe, maybe I can't understand. She was actually born in Nuremberg. Nuremberg, yeah. And Nuremberg is in the south of Germany. Yes. We are here in the north. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where the nice yeah. people live. That's what everybody tells me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The evil people. <laughs> <laughs> Satan's children. <laughs> Satan's children, yeah. And we uh, spread super Satan's words. <laughs> <laughs> In Lubeck, don't they have a, a, a church bell or some bell that... Uh, man, now today we have, we have a day here. It's uh, Karfreitag. It's called Karfreitag. And the people didn't work, and it's not allowed to dance, it's not allowed to hear loud music, it's not allowed to go in a restaurant from the fucking church, the rules. So it's every year here, Karfreitag, Easter metal, Easter party here. And this is what, what I don't understand because um, the fucking church bells ring every Sunday morning, nine o'clock here in every village and wake us. So I'm not in the church, and 50% of the Germans are not in the church. And this fucking day here, Karfreitag, they say you don't have to dance, you don't have to go hear loud music, you don't have to go in a restaurant. What's that for shit? This is bullshit, man. Yeah? Yeah. yeah? Or, or what? Yeah? But I think on Martinez's plays, I saw a bell that was, yeah. like, in, in the ground. That was yeah. like a monument. Uh, uh, here in, in Hamburg? No, in, La in Lübeck. In Lübeck? Ah, yeah, 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 I know, I know. It, uh, it was from the Second World War. Yes. And the bombs hit the church and it fell down. And so it's a milk monument. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. So it's, well, a, it's a Maria Kegel. They tried. <laughs> yeah. If you can't be <laughs> bombing the church, that, that usually stops it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Here, so, but you know, in Norway, they just burn them down. Yeah, I know, I know, <laughs> I, I know, I know, I know. So it's, it's the death metal guys. Yeah. <laughs> I know the story. There's a film you can see on on uh, Amazon or so. Was just they are very crazy. That they burn the churches. I, I saw uh, that. Ab absolutely crazy. These guys. <clears throat> so I, I have no problem with it. Everybody should uh, do what he want. If somebody loves Jesus, me he loves Jesus. If somebody loves Satan, me he loves Satan. 
So everybody should do what you want. You I, yes, I feel the same way. Yeah. But for me, it's here. We can see this. Yes. Hey, what's that say? Hate God. Yeah. It's a statement. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you, did I'm, you, I'm an evil child. <laughs> <laughs> You're Satan's child. Yes. Satan says. Did you get Who that done? Cipher? Did you get that done at uh, Dirk's tattoo shop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. By by Sammy, the the, uh, the man who did this is Sammy. He's coming from America. Uh, he's a great guy. He also said to me, "Hey man, do you know the bar for me?" I said, "Yes." Yeah, nobody wants a bar for me. I want to tattoo the bar for me. I said, "No problem." So now I'll show you. <laughs> Give me the bar for me. I said to him, and he did it. You see this? Can you see it? Wow, yeah. This is a bar for me. Wow. Yeah. Wait. I see it. Yeah. So I said, no problem. Do it. <laughs> there was, a, there was a, a Russian tattoo artist that worked for Dirk that was amazing. Yeah. Yeah, he has a lot of amazing tattoo guys, tattoo artists. Hey, so, what whatever happened to the... Uh, One man army that worked at Headbangers Open Air. I can't remember his name. He's, he's so big. He uh, like, uh, I, uh, uh, I know. Um, wait a moment. Eddie, big Eddie. Yeah, he you was mean, big. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if he's still alive. So I saw him the last time. It's a long time ago. We had a gig in, on the Raper Barn in, in the Kaiser Keller. And he's coming uh, for, to the show. He was backstage. I, he's a good friend of mine. He's very big. He's, I don't know, I'm yeah. one, one meter 85, but he's two meter, I, I don't know, and he has <laughs> 200 kilos. So he's a, yeah. he's a, a giant. Yes, he but was. He's, a, yeah, nice, he's guy. A, a not, nice guy. Yes. So, but I have no contact anymore. Uh, so I didn't have to all the guys. And when I go back from Hamburg to here, I have too many things to do. You know, I've, I'm not in the scene by the moment. You know? How far? It's, of a, it's a little bit sad. How many, how long does it take to drive to Hamburg from Lübeck? An hour? For me, for, for me, half an hour. Oh. Because I drive with 200 kilometers. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. You drink and drive 155. Yeah, you know. <laughs> 255. <laughs> okay, 200. <laughs> hey, this is great talking to you. I mean, I, I had such a great time with you two years in a row. Uh, me too, Matt. It was amazing with you. I, I love every day that you were here in, in Hamburg and we've, uh, we had a lot of fun, you know, you know. So it was every day uh, an adventure. So I'll, pr I'll promote your album. And see if we I, get I, I, I send it to I send it to you to uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow I go. Wait a moment. So, wait a moment. <laughs> yeah, he's a great guy. This is and his band is I, like the I, best I, of all the thrash bands ever. So here's the CD. You can see. Yes. And tomorrow I go to the post station and send it to you. You have to uh, give me over Facebook your address. Okay. Tomorrow I go and send it to you. Uh, thank you. That's yeah. a good. Uh, yeah, no problem. Man. No problem. It, man. it costs yeah. a lot of money to send one CD now. No, no it's not. No, it's not a lot of money. For you, no. you are my friend. For you, you know, I do it. Thank you. So, no problem, Matt. Huh? You, you know, uh, in America, where uh, the person, the big company that distributed my mm. CDs on my label, yeah. they. Yeah don't handle physical product anymore. It's only digital and download. So they said their warehouse was big enough to put a jet in. It was that yeah. big and filled. And they said, you can pay to have us ship it back to you whatever stock hasn't sold or we will destroy it for free. Yeah, fuck them. <laughs> But the, uh, the bass player for the band Everclear He used to be the mm -hmm. warehouse guy. He, he just mm -hmm. shipped him to me for free. Yeah. Free. And this is fucked. I, 
in 2020, Corona really fucked me over. It killed my everybody, job. Everybody, everybody. For my job, too. Andy. Then I got yeah. Bell's palsy, yeah. in which I woke up one morning and my chin was on my chest and I couldn't talk. I think it was probably a, a stroke then, too. And yeah. Christmas time, I had a stroke and uh, I just yeah. now, that's, I'm coming back. Yeah. I'm bitter now, but uh, yeah. I, I can't drink like I used to. <laughs> Yeah, yes. And I'm sorry for that, Matt. I'm sorry for that shit. But the thing is, uh, for me, it's the same. So uh, in two months, I get 62. So, you know, and uh, I have every, every, in my body, every, every, everything is pain, ear pain <laughs> and the knees pain, blah, blah, blah. So you know, I felt sometimes like I'm 18 years old. So that's how it goes. Right. But you're but, still but, doing but, it. Yes. I turned but 60 and it seemed like my check the engine light turned on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Cheers, man. Cheers. So, my friend from hell, don't forget to uh, send me your address. You can send it me um, uh, on my email. You got my email? Yes. So, okay. and uh, I promise you tomorrow I go and send it to you. Okay, thank you. No, no problem. So I think we're going to get cut off pretty soon because it was supposed to be done at 12.30, but uh, is there anything else you'd like to say to the world? Yes. <laughs> Drink and drive, fuck your wife, and leave the big black smoking hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, my we do it again. We do this again. Okay, so, yeah, anytime. Uh, so With does, Zuzu and Anthony together one day. We can do that. Uh, does, yeah, Zuzu, does Zuzu play on the uh, new album? I know, I know. I, I, no, you does, see the video? Is he? No. Or is it at YouTube? Um, he sent me a, a video. Uh, wait a moment. <laughs> he, uh, I had no contact to him since two years. And a few days ago, we have a phone call. And he told me, he invites me to his marriage in September in, in, in Basel, in Switzerland. And he said, hey man, uh, this will be a great party with everything, with trans people, <laughs> evil people, <laughs> crazy people, blah, blah. And uh, I will go there. Um, I love him. He's, he's, he's priest in the Church of Satan, for sure. Really? Wow. Yeah, really, yeah. And now... Wait a moment, I showed you what he sent me from his band. This I had, I movie. had. I had Robert Brownie on Wednesday. He was on the show. Yeah. Okay. The yeah, drummer. Now Wednesday? Yes. This Wednesday? Okay, then I have to look. Send me per, per mail, and I will have a look. And, okay. Uh, tweets from me to him. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's got a long beard now. He's married. Yeah. <laughs> he really looks long. like the... He looks a little bit like the Yeti. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I want to say thanks for coming on the show. I appreciate this. Sorry about the technical difficulties at the beginning. No this was problem. Car, do, you, do you go by? This is normal. Though? This is normal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no this shit. Is normal. <laughs> this is the lead, the lead singer for Stone Cold Black. They got a new album called Super Loud. And uh, yeah. go out and buy it. It's the best trash you're going to hear this year. Yeah. And we are born evil. Man, <laughs> you are the spawn of Satan. <laughs> Satan says, Satan's body. <laughs> okay, man. Well, thank you so much for coming on. Me too, my friend. Yep. Tell and we do it. We do it again. And tomorrow I go and send you the fucking CD. Hopper, tell Hopper. 
thank you, and nice to meet you. Thanks for taking thank up you. the slack while yeah. you were making a pee. <laughs> yeah, and for me, for me, it was a, a pleasure to see you again. My my pleasure. Yeah. So me have too. a good have a good weekend, and uh, I'll yeah. let you go, and yeah. we'll talk later. Yeah. We do it. Bye. Fear no evil. Fear no evil. <laughs> <laughs> ciao, man. Ciao. Ciao, ciao.